First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankoski. We've been stuck in this pattern of clouds and afternoon showers for so long, but we had a beautiful sunset tonight. This photo sent in by eWeather13 on Twitter. Thank you, Eric, for this stunning shot looking over Lake Champlain with the sun going behind the clouds and the horizon. Right now on Storm Tracker scanning live, we have a thin ribbon of light shower activity moving through the northern Champlain Valley. Want to give you a closer inspection here and put it into motion over the last hour, moving from west to east at about 30 miles per hour. That'll put the leading edge of this line of showers in a couple of towns here very soon. Enosburg included Montgomery here in just over 14 minutes. Belvedere 22 minutes, Troy in 17 minutes and South Newport in about 45 minutes as it moves off to the north and mainly east. It's a spoke of energy around this broad upper level low pressure system over Canada. So pesky and hesitant to leave, but we at least break into some better news for the weekend. Right now it's 52 in St. Johnsbury, 49 in Lebanon and 58 in Burlington. I wouldn't expect temperatures to drop uh, as much as they could given the cloud cover and the showers that we have moving through. Most of the showers will be across northern areas tonight. Otherwise, it's cloudy with a low of 48. And for the day tomorrow, we start with dry weather, clouds and some sunshine. But afternoon showers bubble up with the heating of the day. 60 degrees. That's a solid 13 degrees cooler than it was today in Burlington at least. We're calling for a high tomorrow of 57 in Montpelier, mid 60s closer to 70 as you head south towards Massachusetts. So you see the showers moving across tonight on Futurecast. We start tomorrow dry, but look at all these showers that bubble up tomorrow afternoon with the heating of the day. Those move out to the east by Saturday. We're left with a dry day. Now there's a lot of clouds. That's the disclaimer for Saturday. So some sunshine, a lot of clouds on Saturday. Saturday for the day Sunday. We start with abundant sunshine, but those clouds, they are motivated. They move back in and this is 6 p.m. on Sunday with rain or showers moving back in. So no, it's not a perfect weekend, but it is better than the consistent showers we've been seeing. This is one upper level low over us tomorrow, sponsoring tomorrow afternoon showers. It pushes east. We get in a dry period Saturday and early Sunday. Then another upper level low moves in as we move in to Monday and Tuesday, unfortunately. So here's how it breaks down. Only 60 tomorrow, a lot cooler than it was today. Mainly dry this weekend, but the showers move in late Sunday and Monday looks not so hot. And I think Tuesday also includes some showers. So it's up and down still. It looks like this pattern is just stuck in place, but we're lucky there that Saturday and Sunday are both dry for the most part, though I think things go downhill late on Sunday. All right, we'll take that a yeah. couple days. As good as we can do. Exactly. <laughs> All right, this time of the year.